up high above East London, a Metropolitan Police helicopter crew are watching a man in a garden. It's 5.30 in the morning. He's wearing a white vest, black trousers, large build, IC3 male. It's not his garden. The man is on the run from the police. He failed to stop his car when asked to and then ran off after he dumped it. Yeah, we've got him uh, garden hopping. He's now into back gardens of Howard Road. By hopping fences, he's managed to shake off the officers who were chasing him. He doesn't yet know he's being tracked from above. The helicopter's too high for him to hear. He was in gardens that were relatively open, so we could see him quite well. Now on to a flat road. The man is believed to be dangerous. When he abandoned his car, he left behind a knife. Howard Road is now four houses from Lowbrook, four gardens from you. Three gardens from you now, over. The male is still making his way towards Lowbrook. He's now two gardens from Lowbrook. Fortunately, the people whose houses he's using to escape are still asleep. And it's one garden coming over the fence, one garden from Lowbrook. I'm going to need uh, at least two or three units in Lowbrook. The man doesn't know what's on the other side of the door. Apart from, it's likely to be the street. Yeah, I've got three PCs. We had a, a good four or five police units, so 10 or 11 officers at the far end of this road. And this suspect was just blindly making his way towards a welcoming party of police officers. He's realised that a man walking the streets in a vest will look suspicious, so he's getting dressed. Right, PC, you buy a black, a black gate in a wall. He's the other side of that gate from you now. I think his aim was to open the gate and walk out onto the street and pretend he was uh, just an innocent member of the public going out for a morning stroll. The cops on the other side of the gate have waited long enough. Yeah. KF from Indian 99, suspects of uh, PCs have gone into the garden. Suspect is detained, stand by. Tonight, on board with London Sky Cops. Not the one way system, travelling northbound on the south bank. As they go after criminals who break the rules, pushing their luck to the limit. He was just clung on the side of the building, on someone's house. Desperate and dangerous. Van unit, go left, left, van unit, left. The criminals can't go around thinking that if they drive like idiots, then they'll get away and the police won't chase them, otherwise that's all they're going to do. London Sky Cops are based on the very edge of northeast London, at Lippitz Hill in Essex. They have three helicopters and are the only police air support unit in Britain to be on call 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Their beat is the nation's capital, all 610 square miles of it. Every time you go up, there's a new part of London that you haven't seen yet, or you see it from a different angle, a different aspect and you really start piecing together different parts of London like a jigsaw puzzle. These helicopters cost a million pounds each and have a top speed of 130 miles an hour. On most days, they're in the air for at least eight hours. Well, that's nice and cool. Yeah, it's nice, mate. Today is no exception. In the east end of London, the Skycops helicopter call sign India 99 is already on a mission. You got any directions, Ella? Looking for a man on a motorbike who has failed to stop for the traffic cops. Yeah, we've just come up on saying what was this motorcycle pursuit. Um, I believe it was a lot. We've now got a motorcycle visual. What's the description on the back and the index, please? As we got to the location, we saw a motorcycle driving away. Um, we had a look at the number plate on this vehicle and found that it was the one that failed to stop. Can you know the visual of that vehicle? Uh, stand by, I'll give you commentary. The idea now is to follow the biker without him realising there's a helicopter above. This time, it hasn't worked. Oh, they suddenly look up and, oh, good grief, the helicopter's there. And uh, that's the first time they've, they've realised we're there. Here you come, love the camera. Love the camera. But salvation might be at hand. The biker's so fixated by the sky cops, he's failed to notice the ground cops. I think it was some 
firearms officers have tried stopping it. The chap on the bike mounted the pavement and um, accelerated away hard. We began driving towards the A13 in East London and the people that were following it had no chance keeping up with it. The MP Indian Northern Avenue, Porters Avenue, Porters Avenue towards the A13. Over. I can't confirm there's no police vehicles behind this bike at this stage. MP just passing, he's still committed, A13 Westbound, still committed. So we've then followed the vehicle for probably about 10 minutes along the A13, around towards Canary Wharf and the Isle of Dogs. All right now, we're going back in the barrel, right? MP's uh, onto the roundabout, stand by. And at that point, we've managed to get some police officers near the vehicle to try and stop it again. The traffic cops are hoping their presence will persuade the biker to pull over and stop. The MP to continue his Amperes road, uh, generally towards Hackney Downs, are. They know they can't force him to. Hackney Downs to the offside. Once the traffic officers in their vehicles got behind the bike, the bike began driving at excessive speed again through the traffic, and that's where the police vehicles couldn't follow. But PC Arnold has a new trick to pull. MP99, we're just coming into a bit of heavy traffic, which is held at the ATS. Could just might suggest that the solos just follow through the um, heavy traffic cover. He's got police motorcycles available. But what I was able to do was ask the solo units, the motorcycle units, to follow the vehicle through the traffic so we could keep a good eye on the bike in case he decided to turn off and, and decamp into an estate. MP99 is through the ATS. Uh, I think it's Tottenham Hollow Road is now into South Tottenham over. Back at Lippitz Hill, the Sky Cops are preparing to launch the second helicopter. Controller John Myers has had a call from a golf club where there is someone with a gun. Information from a member of staff that one of their club members has been shot uh, by a suspect in possession of an air pistol. SCAD 5992 on the Sierra X rating. PC Bonner will take the front seat and Captain Paul Darney will be the pilot. Meanwhile, in Tottenham, the biker's time is running out. His fuel tank's getting low. He's then gone the wrong way around Tottenham one-way system. And at this point, I've called off all the police vehicles not to follow them because we were following the bike on the camera. There was no need for the police vehicles to follow them and put themselves in danger. Some of the, the more stupid things that people would do, you think, why are you doing this? Even if you've stolen this vehicle, then is it worth putting your own life at risk? And they definitely don't seem to think about other people. And confirmed police vehicles have pulled away. Vehicle is continuing a broad line to them. By dicing with death in the one-way system, the biker's buying time for PC Arnold to get ground units ahead of him. It was a long pursuit and a lot of hard work for me um, at the time because I was the tactical commander in the back, so I haven't given the commentary direct units in and take control of the incident. At that point I've spoken to the, the officers in the traffic cars following him and given them a direct route to where this chap's going to come out. MP99 is now two marked police vehicles behind the motorcycle over. Uh, it continues and ends up in Edmonton, which is now North London, some 10 miles away from where it first started. MP99, no, no, still moody and white. Stand by, MP, it's now white, white, white. The game's up. MP99, stand by. Vehicle is slowing. The motorbike is out of gas. MP99, it's, uh, it's going to be in decap, decap, brother. And the maniac who's been riding it is out of places to run. Uh, suspect detained leaving the Sky Cops to count the cost of half an hour of recklessness. It's a very big team exercise. We're working as a small team in the cockpit, the aircraft. We're always working as a team with the officers on the ground as well. And you've got to, that, to have that mutual respect with each other. MP Indian 99, if you're happy, we're going to um, stop down linking RTB with a few other. Thank you very much. As Indian 99 returns for fuel, Indian 9-8 has arrived at the golf course where the shooting is said to have taken place. They haven't much to go on. The golfer who reported the incident said it happened on the sixth hole. The South Lance Golf Course on 98. 
Trouble is, none of 99's crew play golf. Are they or something? I couldn't actually work out where the sixth tee was, so we started at the clubhouse and worked our way to find the sixth tee. Yeah, she's got You're a number right. on it. I know that there's so many holes on a golf course, but I'm not sure where it was or if it ran in a circle or if it goes up and down. So we were just going from hole to hole and trying to find the numbers and zooming in on the camera to see if it said, if there's little signs saying, you know, sixth hole. The triple eight No. Where am I? Is there any markers around there? Yeah, he's sick. Just going the hole at the top, which is But no sign of any shooters. Just looking for kids, really. Yeah, there's no kids on the hole. We thought with the golf course there might be a good chance of finding someone, but it actually bordered onto housing quite closely, so we thought, well, they've probably made off. And there's an alleyway. Yeah. But as we were looking at that, some mopeds came down the footpath. I reckon they've done it. They shouldn't be here, and they shouldn't be riding like this. 99 going to stick around and search, see if we can find this person. Yeah, I've got uh, two or two up on mopeds and another one behind, moving off from the scene. They're now making towards uh, Barnet Lane. Uh, While PC Bonner and crew chase mopeds, at Lippitz Hill, the next shift of Skycops is coming on duty. PC Rick Tartaglia has been part of this unit for three years. Hi, buddy. Cheers. All right. And this base has a special place in his heart. His family's Italian and this used to be an Italian prisoner of war camp. Little has changed here since the end of the war in 1945. Well, this is Lippitz Hill, where we're based now, the Metropolitan Police Air Support Unit's been here since uh, 1980. These huts, back during World War II, were actually used to hold uh, prisoners of war from Germany and from Italy. And they were held here up until about 1948. Nowadays, some of the huts have obviously been changed to uh, more important uses. Before you fly, you eat, a Sky Cop's golden rule. Because once the action starts, you rarely get a second chance. This is a countermeasure to the biryani I had last night. I'm just thinking of my, I'm thinking of the welfare of my crew. Modium's got far less calories. Meanwhile, PC Bonner is still trying to keep the boys on bikes on camera. Yeah, it's just um, they're at the table tennis centre, if you were. Three up on one bike. Stand by for descriptions. Now one up. I see one rider. Yeah, always do. Two I see one passengers. Oh, yeah, you hide, right. yeah. When they saw us above, they decided to run for it, so we had to assume that they felt guilty about something and they needed to be stopped. Now gone into Barnet Lane, going across towards the Dollis. Oh, one's gone on the main road. Probably one on the main road, yeah. 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 Dealing with teenage bikers who split up and run the police ragged is going to be easier today. This part of London is where PC White grew up. He knows it like the back of his hand. They're zooming along quite happily now, behind the back of Crocus Field and following the, uh, the track south of the Dollis, uh, running parallel, I presume, with Maze Lane, I would think. It's handy if you go get a job that's actually on your sort of manor. It's really good. I don't have to look at the book. I don't have to look at the map on the screen. It plants a seed in people's mind where, where these people are going. But PC White is working to a plan. He's using the helicopter to force them back into the estate where he wants them to be. Bring it right down, mate. I think you can use the helicopter with mopeds in open ground. You can sometimes put the aircraft in front of them and make them come to you, and then they'll just turn around and go back the other way which is the way I wanted them to go. Nancy, yes, they're uh, running parallel what we call the Dollis Valley Walk, um, making their way back towards Crocus Field, just coming into the estate. So uh, one, I see one driver, all in blue. Uh, we'll stick with him, I think. White's plan is working. Yeah, you'll have to come into the estate now. He's coming up by the school in the top of the Dollis Valley. Uh, Valley Estate, I can't see you at the second. He's now making his way up, uh, back out onto the Barnet Road. Uh, around the bend. Yeah. Just going to slightly lose behind the tree. Uh, okay. uh, back out. Ground cops have got ahead and are moving in, out of sight of the rider, who really isn't paying attention. Uh, oh. He should have been. Yeah. OK, yeah, I'll look for another one, then. He's just driven into that police car, isn't he? Yeah. Very naughty. Young kids, most of them probably don't have a licence, they don't have any form of training on a bike. They're pushing it to the limit. 
Now for the other biker. Here's the other one. Yeah, we've got him on camera. Got him. Official. And I've got the second rider, so once uh, once you're with this other officer, I'll take the third unit that turns up and I'll direct you to the second moped over. It's um, it's like a little bike, it's not a... Yeah. I don't know what sort of thing it is. He was involved, were you? Yeah, he was with him. He was two up, and the other lad was three up. The man approaching the rider isn't a police officer. He's got someone coming out to him now. And there is no doubt they're trying to decide what to do about the helicopter. Yeah, the, the block in front of you, if you... Uh, go Not realising that PC White is getting more ground cops into position to spring a surprise. Come round the side of it, on the direction from there where he last was. Definitely's working hard with the camera, uh, the pilot's got a, a visual on it as well. It gives me the time to look around and I can trick those officers in to basically intercept this suspect who's now nonchalantly walking across the estate. They got off. At Lippitz Hill, PC Tartaglia is getting India 99 ready for takeoff. He's barely had time to finish his eggs when there's another emergency. Here we go again. This time, the gun squad need their help. A man's been seen boarding a bus. As he did so, he dropped some bullets. India 99 is described as a male IC3 wearing a black jacket with yellow stripes on it. A green cross on the back and green writing on the front. He may be armed. Apart from the description, the crew know little, other than it's a red double-decker, number 427. We rushed to the scene where the, the bus was. On that particular route, there must have been about 10 or 12 buses at that particular time. Hey, that'll be the bullet on the Could be. Now that they've found it, PC Tartaglia will assume command of the surveillance. Good communication is very, very important to be able to speak to officers on the ground and make yourself understood very clearly because there's a lot of room for misunderstanding. There's a lead here. Email there, yeah. FH from India Line, just to let you know we are overhead, we are videoing it. Their first job is to confirm that a man fitting the description is actually on the bus. And that's not going to be easy. Stand by. Can't see him anywhere. Mm. Bus is off, off, off. Stop left, still on board, still on board. Yeah, the plan of action is to uh, leave the mail on the bus. It's not ideal to tackle him on the bus. PC Tartaglia holds the key to this mission. It will be he who gives the gun squad the word. But the helicopter's fuel tank may play a part too. It's getting low. Less than three minutes flying time left. Who's getting off? Who's getting off? Come on, get off. Get off. Uh, can't see that one in that description. Person there. You can't see him there. To do a, a systematic search of the bus. It's quite tricky to keep the camera on, on the vehicle that we're following. For me, it's, it's fairly easy. I've got to fly down one side of the bus quite slowly and then go around and fly down the other side quite slowly. That's him. Oh, yeah. in. That's boy. Stand by. Yeah. That's him. Front near side. He was actually wearing a very distinctive coat. He had a black jacket on with a very bright green X on the back and two very obvious stripes, which was quite handy for us. Still on the Oxbridge Road and moving eastbound. Just passing junction with Brookside Road. The dilemma now is how to tackle the suspect. We just kept observation on him just to make sure he didn't get off at the stops. If he got too twitchy, the ground units would be able to drop right off. It went on a bit longer than we were comfortable with. Our fuel got very, very low. It was getting very, very tight. Bus is again off, off, off over the, uh, the canal and is now approaching the uh, junction with Livingston Road, still on the Broadway, approaching Southall. The gun squad won't move in right away. They'll wait until PC Tartaglia gives them the nod. MPs off, off, off. The uh, suspect is now off the bus, walking on the north bound. It's just met up with another IC3 man is now continuing along towards the junction with Church Road. He's on the North Footway, walking east. Off, off, off the bus. Footway, Church Road. Just crossing uh, an alleyway and approaching Church Road now. 
Back. It's now a left left, he's walking, he's aware, he is looking back, left left, that's a correction, he's now changed his mind and crossing Church Road, eastbound, still on the Uxbridge Road, he's got hands in his pocket, stops going in now, MP, stops going in now. It's in the nick of time, the tank is dry. MP suspect being detained, we're going to have to go, we're out of fuel, I'm afraid. Oh, no, thank you very much for your as 99 heads back to base, Kara is taking another call. X-ray Hotel 5, go ahead. How can we help you? Yep, that's something we can assist with. Another emergency. As always, it's urgent. What's the location? Captain Sweeting okay, can't wait for his helicopter to be refuelled, so he's decided to take the other one and its crew. No problem, we'll launch the aircraft now. It's a moped, causing problems for traffic cops in North London. Uh, you OK, we've got this long north-south road here. Yes, sir. Where it turns left at the end? Yeah, that's where we're going, mate. That's oh, got, got, it, it, got, it, got it, got it. Got it. That's not a rectory road, is it? Right, straight on. The rider is using one-way streets. He's got a passenger on the pillion seat. On the commentary, over. Is a... Uh, Long way out the runway system, rectory road. He's travelling northbound on the southbound carriageway, over. He missed the bus by, well, he wouldn't have got a fake paper in between the two of them. I think we shut his eyes just as much as the guy on the bike shut his eyes. The bus which, ooh, God, nearly hit that one. There is no police vehicles following this bike. Long way down the, uh, Just up. Right, the right way, mate. There's no way would ground units have been able to follow him up there. They wouldn't have got through, never mind the danger to the public that would have been caused. Brook Road, travelling with eastbound, MP. These people have got to be caught. The criminals can't go around thinking that if they drive like idiots, then they'll get away and the police won't chase them, otherwise that's all they're going to do. Held in traffic, three from the back. Uh... PC Arnold is perplexed. It's a U-turn, mate. It's now reset, reset. No more crazy riding. Maybe this is where the riders live. Uh, just gap through the estate, stand by. Right, we'll it. Through the estate, right, I've got it on. The pair have spotted the traffic cars the crew have guided to the scene. Now, D camp, van unit, go left, left, van unit, left, from the estate on your left hand side. MPS, D camp, um, I think it's Rayton Road, North, no, it's Northwood Road, Northwood Road, over. D camp, Northwood Road, sir. Right, around the top of the block, they're going to come out towards their white van. No, they're under the tree somewhere in there, mate. They might have got away. But they haven't, thanks to the ground cops. I think they've got someone, yeah, they got someone on the ground. Yeah, they've got them detained, mate. Both of them? I think so. I've got one detained in there. Go, go. They're uh, receiving a bill. Yeah, they got them both. Got them both. Hey. Got them both. You never like to see people get away, however they're trying to escape. You want to make sure that they're detained. It's been a long day. But night gives little respite for the London Sky Cops. Hello. Yeah, we've got a job. That's all right. Just suspect search. All right then. OK, we'll go now. Cheers. Bye. Right, we've got job 162, suspect search in a garden. A car thief has managed to escape from the police who were chasing him in South London. He's out and running, but the ground cops believe they've got him trapped in a row of houses. Nine Nine's their best bet of finding him before he sneaks away. It's quite a large, dark area, so they call us and we can use the um, thermal imagery camera. And especially late at night, people stand out very well because of the, the heat that they're getting. You've got about 100 yards away from them. Description of him at all. Got him. Got him? Yeah, yeah. I gave him over the main cool. shot. I think in the right. Top right, about 510, where the blue top. Yeah, got someone. It isn't the wanted man, but part of the police cordon which is penning him in. Yeah, Julie Charlie in the 991 saying we're visual with your officer. We're searching for, some, searching for the suspect now, over. It could be a fruitless mission but PC Arnold is working on it with the dog squad. Yeah, dog man, no, no, we've got your visual on camera. And they're on to something. Yeah, the only way that the dog's just gone into, um, is there any exit out onto the road? 
the dog was definitely indicating that the chap had been in that back garden and was indicating up towards the roof, and that's where the dog could still get the scent. But the dog obviously can't go up on the roof, so that's, that's the job that's down to us then. There you go, there he is. Yeah, we've got him visual, stand by. I was like Spider-Man. I don't know if there was um, some ledge there. I couldn't see it on the camera, but he was just clung on the side of the building, on someone's house. And he's making his way towards 170, the rear of 170, 18, 18, uh, 166. Hello. He may not even know we could see him. Um, he may have thought that it was just a dog that could see him, and that's why he was going along the roof. Yeah, obviously, if you can make your way back out into the park, he's um, now back down to... Um, Garden level, two gardens away from you towards the helicopter, over. Right, garden hopping now. Still garden hopping, and we've got a containment out the front, over. The Sky Cops now have the upper hand. It's so dark in the gardens that the thief can't see a way out. Right, the unit in the street, there's an alleyway on the western side that splits the houses. Get in there a bit quick, he's going to appear in there. Dog van, keep going west along the park. There's an alleyway that opens up between the houses. He's going to come out there. Stand by. He's now into the park. Dog man is into the park running south. Not good news. They need to force the man back towards the houses. Right, get that dog Hang in on. that park. We're trying to get the officers in. It's very difficult because if I'm on the camera and I'm staying with the suspect, if Dan's looking out and all he can see is um, a large dark area, he can't see the officers, and all he's got is me showing the suspect on the camera. Yeah, he's now crossing the park, still going westbound. Yeah, can we have units to um, Dark Road? Dark Road, please, 99. So then we have to sort of try and zoom out so that we can see where the officers are and see where the suspect is. Do you want me to do your hand, Nick Line? I've got it. Do you say you go back to Car Road, please? In the garden. Dog man is about there, he's about there. He's just gone into back gardens. Do you want to Car Road, please? This is where they want him. Yep, yeah, he's number 186, 186 Car Road is where he's near. But house numbers are not something the ground cops can see easily. The new system on the aircraft, which is linked between the map and the camera, enables us to put the camera onto a location, the back garden of a premises, and then by the mapping function, I can zoom in and tell exactly what premises that the camera's looking at. Make that uh, between 182 and 184 car road. I can indicate that information so the officer's on the ground and they can then get to the house quite quickly. Look to your left, there's a split in the houses. It's between there, right, like, stop, 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 stop. Over that back garden, there's a split in the houses, he's held there, rather. The man's now being held by the dog handler. Yeah, unit 99, the male has been detained out the front, he's been detained out the front, rather. He thought the coast was clear. Well done, India 99, thanks very much. He was on the run for nearly an hour. Nice camera work, Beth, well done. The man on the stolen motorbike was convicted of theft and dangerous driving. The youths on the scooters were let off with a warning. No charges were brought against the man suspected of carrying a firearm on the bus. The driver of the scooter was convicted of dangerous driving and the man trying to escape by climbing across a roof of the house was convicted of burglary.